Let's talk about this ridiculous monstrosity. Ah yes, a limit and two infinite summations. Just look at this thing. Elegant, compact, nothing really obvious stands out about it except maybe for that signature e to the pi i, a math nerd's wet dream if there ever was one. As always, feel free to give this thing a good try before I actually explain it. So let me tell you how I actually built this freak of nature. I decided to go into my evil laboratory and dig up one of the more fundamental equations in mathematics. This thing, the Riemann sum integral formula. If you had to study calculus, you most definitely know the concept of approximating the area of a curve by using thin rectangular segments. Now don't worry, I won't be going into the details of that process. There are plenty of other videos on YouTube. I'm merely interested in the equation itself. And yes, that evil thing you saw not too long ago be gone as this innocent looking virgin puff over here. So the first thing to do was to get rid of this pesky asterisk. I don't know what it's for and I don't care. The next thing was this i index thing. I personally prefer to use an n or a k, so there's no confusion with i, the imaginary number, which I do like to use from time to time. Now that we have that out of the way, let's begin the real surgery. For starters, I figured I used the classic parabola, making our function into x squared. For the limits of the integral, to make our math simpler, I decided to keep the bottom as zero, and the top I left as an open variable, as the letter a. Just some random distance of the area under the parabola. Our delta x becomes a minus zero over n, or just a over n. Our x k becomes zero plus a over n times k. Again, making it just this thing. And here we are, one of the more elementary calculus examples, if you ever saw one. So far, everything is kosher. None of this is anything new or special. Anyone who has any semblance of calculus can clearly see that all I have been doing was just some rudimentary flirting, barely qualifying as foreplay. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's get that dick inside the vagina. The first thing I did was I decided to divide this by this, leaving us with one as the result. The next thing was to use a negative exponent so I could move this thing up here. I usually prefer to replace that one with Euler's identity to make the whole thing look more fancy. And now we can shove this thing even deeper, just like that. This also meant that I could have this inside here as long as I flipped those two over. And this right there already looks like it could get a bunch of ladies excited. Keep in mind the whole thing is just equal to one and it no longer describes the area under the parabola. Of course, I'm not stopping here. I do want to make this thing look a lot more sicker. So let's go even deeper and hit that G spot. I decided to switch the upper boundary with an E, switching those into E's as well. One of them I turned into E squared like this. And then I pulled it out to the side, giving us this. Then I used some math magic to turn it into this nasty thing. I'll let you guys figure that one on your own. That remaining E I decided to turn into this other thing, because guess what? We have this limit as N approaches infinity. Which means I get to do a callback to my nightmare equation video. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Now this thing kind of stands out a little bit, so let's try and hide it. We can distribute this negative n like so. Pull that one there and tuck it in here. And hide the other thing here. Much better. This thing's almost done. We just need one more thing. We need to make this into a truly evil equation. So I decided to pull up this old simple formula for making the triple six. And since our monster results in one, we can just multiply it and put that thing right inside there. Remember that the entire thing is working with the negative exponent. So we need to flip those two around. Now we can properly hide it with the rest of this jazz over here. Let's also shove this back up. And finally, I'll switch this root with the one to make things even less obvious. So here we are. We finally got it. One foul beast resulting in the triple six. A nightmarish delight straight from the evil math laboratory. I definitely enjoyed making this thing. And I hope you also had fun watching me create it. If you guys have suggestions as to any other well-known math formulas you would like me to butcher, leave it in the comments. I'm definitely looking forward to reading those. If you haven't yet seen my other videos, by all means go for it. Hit that like, subscribe and click that bell. And I'll be seeing all of you in the next one. Thanks for watching.